Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode Suji here as usual So before I start this one I quickly wanted to say for each and every one of you that are subscribed to me Thank you so much for the continuous support and all the nice comments after each and every video because I genuinely genuinely just don't get any you know rude or mean comments I, I will get at them now I guess because I said that out loud but yeah amazing support is amazing from you guys so thank you guys so much for that and now as you guys can see I am doing some thieving and I am really close to getting this level 97 so I will quickly finish off this 75 kxp and I will be back with the first level of the episode and as I said there we go guys Coming back with the level I was talking about, so level 97 thieving, two more left for this one, maybe I will finish it today, I don't know, I don't know how I will feel about AFKing today, but uh, yeah, anyways, I do have an elite in my bank already, so we will make sure to do that after I finish pocketing this clan. Oh, and yeah, obviously another new clan, pickpocket, crevice work is not, I won't pickpocket these because these are, those are not really too good for me because I need to focus on Ironworth, Ithel, uh, Amlod and Mylers for the Herblore supplies and porters. Okay, actually this is not an elite clue but because I did in fact get, uh, get myself into another raid so without any overdo let's hope for the codex as usual. Nothing from the first one and reroll is and ah raw food fucking lovely I am happy with this loot. Okay, so there we go for the elite clue. We got the casket, but that's teleport out because Desert Heat does in fact, you know, uh, interrupt the screen or whatever. So let's open. 457k. Oh man, two palm tree seeds. Absolutely amazing clue. And it's time for Raxor once again, guys. First kill is already completed. The loot. Battle staffs. And this is skill number two for the day. Oh, I swear to God, these battle staff drops. Man, this was a horrible kill. I ran out of overload on P4 simply because I wanted to do the feet. I, no, not feet, skin for the spider pets, you know, where you need to kill a Raxor with pretty much killing mirror back spider or whatever. So I waited for the last spawn of, you know, spiders on the P3 and the fucking pulsing spider spawn. So yeah, I did fail, I guess, to unlock that skin. But anyways, whatever, the loot is fucking black behind, man. And there we go, another kill, uh, Reaper assignment uh, completed as well, 50 tests, so that is not bad, 50 extra points, but 70 points, to, uh, how many points do we have now? Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make second Hydrix uh, so fast, I, it's not even, you know, Reaper, can't fucking type, Reaper points. 181, fucking ridiculous, but yeah, what I am missing actually... I did kill Raxor with the Mirrorback Spider, so I don't understand why is there no skin? Or doesn't it give message? Yeah, there is no message. Or maybe do I need to teleport out? Let's try it. Uh, nope. I am not sure. Let's just, you know, ch check one more time, but... Yeah, there is no skin, I'm confused, because I killed the Raxor on P3 with the Mirror Back Spider, and I killed it that way on my main when I got the pet and it worked, so I am a bit confused. Okay, and then we go for the fifth kill, so I need to check something out, because I think I am doing this feat somehow, uh, badly somehow, because I just can't be, you know, can't complete it for some reason, I don't know, but yeah, I guess I will check out and try again tomorrow, but... Uh, for those attempts earlier, I guess we did sacrifice the 6th skill for the day, but it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Last loot of the day is 3 Sirenic scales. How beautiful. So, I wonder how many I am missing from making my Sirenic chestplate. Man, what an iconic scene this is. Good luck me, guys. You have got to be kidding me with this fight. Are you serious? Not even my sunshine ended. And you know why this is actually so uh, funny for me? Or surprise? Oh my god, I was playing fucking anguish. Uh, but yeah, this is so weird for me because when this quest was released and I did it on my main, I died 13 times. 
13 times. Can you believe this? And now I fucking completed it with revolution in like 20 seconds. No one needs to be fucking buffed for this quest. This is fucking pathetic. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna quickly finish the quest, guys, and we will go complete Warrock Diary, actually, because this is why I wanted to do the quest anyways, because if you guys remember, I got myself an Infernal Ads because that was one of the Warrock Diary tasks, so if I can skip through this dialogue somewhere here should be a... Oh yeah, that's the cutscene where he gets up. I remember after I finished that quest, you know, like, this cutscene got me so hyped for Nomad 2, I guess, and then EOC got released and we got Nomad's energy, which is garbage. Nothing comparable to what the fight was pre EOC in my opinion, and oh my god, that kick, but yeah, I am commentating way too much, so I'm just gonna, you know, wait until I get the reward, guys, and I will be back then. And there we go, congratulations, you have completed Nomad's Requiem, and as, as also another thing I guess I did not mention, I think, is actually with this quest, when uh, it got released, I got my quest cape, so brings back memories, I guess, but yeah. Free quest point 70, soul or zeals, nice, soul wars respawn point, speak to Zimbabwe to pick your own soul wars cape and this is what we need to do because this is an elite Varog diary task, so anyways as I said you guys I'm gonna quickly complete the last three tasks that I have remaining and I will be back with the diary reward. Okay guys so here I am at cooking guild and I have the requirements for the last task in my inventory so let's equip these gloves so we make sure not to burn this stupid vibe and there we go will this give me the message there we go congratulations you have completed all of the tasks in the varrocks that speak to vanaka in Nedgeville dungeon to claim your reward beautiful so now i'm gonna quickly go to vanaka and claim these lamps because i think i will get a construction level from them Okay, there we go. This is actually attempt number two because I came for the first try and you actually need to bring the Varrock Plate Body to him. So yeah, there we go for the four lamps and Varrock Plate Body 4. So let's double check if we will get this construction level 80k. That is 120k and yes, that will be 160 or 150k and this should be construction level. There we go, guys. Beautiful. Level 91 construction come in. Obviously, we can... Finally open the first state of for the effigy with construction skill without any sort of boosting so that was great and now let's go and do something else. Well this clue was a lot easier than I expected it to be because it had only like so many steps but anyways we have the casket completed and that is 391k. Okay and we have another lead in the bag guys so without any overdo. 228k but we can reroll this one which we will definitely do and 379k one dragon man helm into another one beautiful hey you guys and i am doing some barrows because i got myself a reaper assignment and we are coming in with a new item pretty sure i don't have that so that is another unique i just wonder now if i have any more gotham pieces in my bank Okay, and this will be the last chest, guys, so let's get the loot. Okay, we did not get two items in 10 kills, but still a nice, you know, uh, unique. So now I will quickly go to the bank and check if I have this, you know, other pieces of this outfit. But this task Reaper is so freaking sad. You only get eight Reaper points for it. But yeah, anyways, let's just quickly rush to the bank, guys, and where it is. There we go. Do we have any? Oh, we have Gotham's Blade Body. Lovely. So I guess that is another uh, set with two pieces now. Yeah. Okay. So we, yeah. Uh, so, so we are still on free outfits for Ahrims. Uh, outfits. Two pieces for Ahrims. Two uh, free pieces for Ahrims. Two pieces for Gotham's now, and two pieces for Verov. So God, I want to complete this set so bad. Okay, it's a new day, so we are once again back to Raxor, guys. First kill of the day, Black Dehydes. And kill number two, Cyrenic Scales. Okay, and kill number three, thank you us for the Web Raxor. Yeah, right. Okay, and this is kill number four, Runator. And that is fifth kill of the day, so the loot is 
422k so yeah gonna do one more kill and i think i need to start complaining because obviously that's how things work in rs guys when you start complaining you do get a drop okay and there we go sixth kill guys so yeah this kill is actually 69th kill since i had anything from rex or so let's see what this drop is magic see it's pretty good drop not gonna complain about that obviously Okay, and we got another elite, so you know, as usual, casket is in the bag, let's unlock, and that is 228k. God, I, I, uh, lately I haven't got any of the treasure tree items, because you know that in every clue you are supposed to get something related towards treasure trails, and yeah, lately I've just been getting these teleport scrolls, or, you know, things like arrows, so where are all the items, Jagex, I need fortunate components. Okay guys, and this should be another fucking hell, the same tick, it freaks me out all the time, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, what I was saying, uh, there we go for another thieving level, so yeah, I decided to go ahead and do some thieving, obviously the previous LE that I just did was from thieving as well, so 98 thieving, obviously guys, the last clan is now unlocked to pickpocket, and after I do finish this clan, I think I'm gonna go and do some barrows. I don't know why, but I feel like I wanna do barrows today. Who knows, maybe the, you know, this episode will be the lucky episode. But yeah, other than that, one more level, which is 1.2 mil XP. Hmm, maybe I can do it tomorrow. I don't know. Oh my fucking god, no way! No way, guys! It happened! Oh my, I, I had a feeling that I wanna go barrows today. It's fucking midnight and I can't, I can't be loud, I'm so sorry for, you know, this strange whisper, but holy shit, Akrim's girlhood, I have full Akrim's now, I, I honestly cannot believe this shit, let's check the KC without any overdue, where is the Barrows Brothers, 175 KC for first full set, you know what, let's quickly go to the bank because we definitely need to see that, but it is that we go and oh my god I honestly I, I I didn't get any duplicates if that's even you know more hard to believe or whatever I can't believe I didn't get any duplicates holy crap you guys there we go uh Ahrim's rope top Ahrim's skirt Ahrim's staff oh my god there is no fucking way guys Holy shit, let's go complete Mauritania Diary, this is amazing. Okay, and there we go guys, these are all the parts that I have. So in total we got 13 uniques, and I didn't get a single duplicate as I said, but you know, with the, and yeah, we, we got 5 Akrim pieces actually, because you know, but sadly the book doesn't count towards the set. But anyways, let's equip this set and, oh come on, I'm gonna need to fix all of this simply because I need to wear it for the diary, this is retarded, but... Yeah, we need to wear this entire set and this should prop the message, I think. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations, you have completed all of the hard tasks in the Quarantine SX. Speak to the strange old man at the barrels to claim your reward. So yeah, I'm gonna go claim myself the hard rewards and now I have only one task left, which is to burn a fire shade with pure wood. So I will be right back with that task completed as well. Okay, what the fuck are you doing, Suji? Okay, there we go, guys. We have... I don't know how to do it. prepare. Wow, I did not know there is this kind of... Oh, did I just use it here? Okay, so we should light it now and we should prop the message, I guess. Do I get the message? There we go. Congratulations, you have completed all of the tasks in Mauritania. Said, speak to old man Valium. Oh my god, I need to go to that vampire city. This is gonna be painful, but... Ah uh, yeah, silver key, crimson. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I think you need this key to unlock a specific music sound. I might be wrong, but yeah, anyways, there we go for another achievement diary. Fucking, I'm so happy to complete this one. I'm I'm so glad, uh, glad you know, I decided to go barrels this evening. But uh, yeah, I guess now we have three diaries left, which is Dungeoneering, Wilderness, uh... Okay, never mind, four diaries actually, which is the engineering, wilderness, desert, and elf diaries. And yeah, I guess I will be done with all the diaries. And now, as I said, I'm gonna go claim my reward and get those beautiful XP lamps. And no, we won't get the construction level, so amazing. 